Hi everybody, welcome back to Tan Predicts and today we have another reading. reading. I've seen two cards and uh, while I was shuffling, I definitely feel it's a new beginning, it's a reunion. I'm getting a re sorry, reconciliation with the person, I'm getting a reunion or uh, you know being together with the person if the person has been away and I definitely feel a reunion. Spread guides, please give me the messages and uh, let's see what are the messages I'm getting. I'm getting back together, I'm getting talking after a long time i'm getting a heart to heart i'm getting putting the egos aside yeah because the universe is with you you've got the star card in the beginning wish for anything and you shall have it you know and this is somebody you know it's like pouring love you know pouring affection and telling you how they feel about you this is universe bringing you guys back and uh, the star card is always i feel blessings from the universe and uh, giving you that energy and hope that the person is thinking about you is going to be back i'm getting i'm getting a big connection guys i'm just going to keep this card away i'm getting a big big reunion here whatever the situation between you two not talking to each other not seeing each other or not uh, you know wanting to be together otherwise having a fight uh, the person will look back look at this i get a lot of twin flame energy you've got the star card in the beginning which is beautiful and uh, you've got somebody who went away thought they've cut all ties with you or maybe thought that you know they won't feel much once they're away they wouldn't miss you and that's that did not happen okay you would have thought hey you know they're not going to call me they're not going to message me they don't want to be with me but this happened the moment they went away um, you know uh, they did look back and they're like hey you know i'm still connected to the person i've not disconnected uh, whatever uh, whatever they're doing right now is reminding them of you and that's why they are anywhere looking back you could be dealing with an air sign you could be an air sign red boots red cap red hat red scarf those are some of the things cross stitch like you normally do cross stitch on clothes i get cross stitch like a, you have a dress like that or they have a shirt or if you have a shirt whatever gender you are but something to do with cross stitch they cannot move ahead look at this something is pulling them back they cannot disconnect and you know what the mess uh, the counter is at two 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 and i told you it's all about number two you know that's the energy that i get yeah they're going to promise you the world you've got two sevens you've got lucky numbers seven of cups they're going to they're back and they're going to promise you the world you know it's like almost filling your cup with love like i told you you know pouring into you know a lot of love a pool of love that you had for them and uh, you still have for them so remember this is a general reading whatever situation you guys are in whatever fight you happened or if you've been away from each other for long or you know you didn't think a reunion would happen this card turned let's see yeah this is almost calling it's like you know uh, you manifesting them you're sending them telepathic messages you're not uh, responding to them in whatever way this is you not responding to them you love them but you're not responding i'm not going to use the word harsh words like teach them a lesson but somewhere they did need to realize you know that they can't just you know walk away whenever they want to you know and you know they will look back you knew they would look back or you knew in your heart you know your intuition said that yes you know that the ties are not cut totally and they have to be back because they are in love with you and you're in love with them or whatever the mess that happened in between between you two will should be you know um should be over or addressed and look at this coming towards you this is journey six of swords is a journey towards you lot of air sign air sign it's because you've got almost three swords from five uh, of the cards that we have is air sign it's communication wanting to get in touch with you this all yeah look at this page of swords and what is the person doing looking back no matter what they were ready for no matter whatever their heart was ready for and they thought you know hey then i'm never going to look back or hey it's okay you know they might not uh, feel the pinch or that they are away from you but that's not going to happen because look at this they're looking back and looking back is always i mean the direction always points towards you and this is like coming back a lot of 11 11s you're going to see you're going to see a lot of uh two twos that's another message that i get okay great guys please give me a few more messages yeah six seems to be very important so six 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 you could be a june born or six days ago something happened like a fight between you two or you've not been connected for like six weeks or six months there could be silence there's dead silence there's radio silence there ego uh, egoist 
I mean, you are egoistic, they are egoistic, so nobody knows who's going to communicate first. All that is happening. It's kind of a messy situation, but uh, they are ready to give what, uh, you know, you know, they know that you deserve a lot and they've not really been, um, you know, good with you. And this is the scale balancing Libra energy. You could be dealing with a Libra, you could be dealing with any air signs. They're ready to give what you want, you know, because you had your fair list of things that you know this happens in a relationship you know i'm not you've not even been um giving me any love or anything you've not been showing anything and that could have been you you know your want from them yeah judgment look at this rising from the coffin you know they're almost rising when, when you're dead you know there's no silence naturally and they're rising from uh the silence to be with you and this is judgment day this is judgment day. You're loud and clear with what you want, you know. In fact, your silence is loud and clear. It's sending them the right message that I am not going to take this lying low. And uh, rise from the dead is they almost went silent, you know. They were like, you know, when you say you don't know where you're, where they're uh, living or dead, you know, you don't, you don't even know what they're doing. For a lot of you, you probably have no idea where they are or what is happening, you know, the communication yeah look at this taken the sword you've taken your energy back you don't want to fight it's the other person almost left you know there was a time when you stopped fighting there was a time when you also went silent and there was a time when they used to talk and say things which used to uh poke you or you know irritate you and used to fight but right now you're not reacting i, f I get the word reacting okay and they're feeling that they're feeling that you are not reacting this turned in my hand you've got a lot of uh, swords energy Especially if you're a Gemini or dealing with a Gemini, I get. You could be Libra or Aquarius, but I get a lot of um, air signs anyway. This is offering a new beginning. Look at this, the crown. The crown belongs to you. They, it's like almost giving the position back, you know. It's like giving the throne back, giving the position back to you. This is what I get. See? clarity from a cloud from a cloud you could be doing like i said i'm getting a cloud spell you could be doing a cloud spell you could be doing a phone spell that'd be good for you offering you, you a new beginning look at the swords we have swords also means like a fight normal i'm saying not here but yeah you could have escaped you know you had enough of it you know you felt you felt claustrophobic maybe or you were like I, d I cannot react you know whenever they used to say something and used to react and it used to become a big fight and again the same thing you know probably it became a same story every uh, now and then again and you're like I have tied myself to this situation I want to move out of it you know that's when you decided either to be silent or not react and that's what bothered them okay you've got page of wands looking in your direction movement passion for you wanting to get in touch with you also scared that you might that you might not respond they're very scared okay they're very scared that um will you do you still love them will you respond are you miffed are you irritated um, are you ready to be with them even if they offer you so much i mean you just wondering what they're uh, you know they're just wondering what your reaction would will be let's see the monology cards monology cards are calling out to me today so i have to use them okay two came out let's see these two you and your loved ones are safe. They also want to know if you are safe, if all is fine because they've not been in touch with you. They do care about you, okay? That's coming from them. I feel uh, they feel that you've gone in a shell. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. You could be a Cancerian. Their energy is gaining momentum. Yes, they've been pushed pushed to talk to you they've been pushed you know their inner they're they're, they're they're reflecting you know the inner voice is telling them that they have to get in touch with you it's gaining momentum and they're also realizing a lot of things that they really care for you that there's no one like you you're so important to them luck is on your side you could be dealing with a sagittarian or you could be a sagittarian it says luck is on your side look at this arrow bow and arrow it's almost like you know, like a Cupid striking at the right time, I feel. Cupid striking at the right time. Spirit guides, please give me one message. Confidence is your key to success. I think if you're not wrong, and I've been saying this in the, I think, last two readings, the energy is like that, that stand your ground. You could be a Leo, you could be dealing with a Leo. I know why I'm getting tennis balls. Like, you've got tennis balls, you play basketball football something to do with tennis pools 
Wow, what did I say? A new start is coming. A new start is coming with the person. I'm telling you, they are ready to, you know, work it out and make it happen and, um, you know, make it, make it like the way it was always with you guys. Prosperity lies ahead. You could be a Taurian dealing with a Taurian or you could be dealing with a Taurian. Have faith in your dreams. I definitely feel new start is coming, you know, stay put stay put okay don't like i said yesterday don't give in okay if you're right you are confident that you are you know you did nothing uh, to deserve how they treated you they they are ready for a reunion they're dying for a reunion you're very close to achieving your goal do not give up you know there are times when you go silent and it's like uh, when you go no contact and they think that no she can't go or he can't go whatever gender can't go no contact they can't live without me they will contact me they'll beg me come back but what you did was silence and um, they cannot actually believe it and this is how you are dealing with the situation because you want them to realize and that's when you'll accept them back and it is a new start and luck is on your side okay remember the cupid is going to strike them hard they're going to make them realize i think more than striking hard it's going to make them realize what they did wrong that's just beautiful let's see any astrology signs i've got the cards i want to do eight okay let's do eight if your sign is there awesome if your if their sign is there awesome if it's not there doesn't matter you have a lot of other little signs that i keep giving in between the readings spirit guides please give me eight one two three four five six seven and eight now i'm going to turn them and tell you that's easier you've got aries fire energy you've got gemini i told you i told you gemini see there's a one of you has to be a gemini i'm getting see libra the balance the scales i think thrice this has come out of four times you've got capricorn you've got scorpio you've got sagittarian You've got Leo and you've got Virgo. So those were my messages, guys. I hope you liked the reading. Take care and I'll be back with another reading tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye, guys. And I wish you all the luck and I hope the reunions happen soon. Bye, guys.